ladies and mostly gentlemen today we're gonna finally take a look at some of the brand new troll options which come to the game in the Shadowlands pre-patch but before we get into all of that I just want to thank the sponsor of this video and that is my twitch channel twitch.tv slash mrgm I'm live right now over on twitch streaming the Shadowlands alpha every single day Right, so we actually did a video right at the start of Alpha kind of speculating about the brand new tattoos, which they did originally show off at BlizzCon. Uh, now we just had a build and they're finally put in some of these options, and there are actually quite a few options for the trolls. So let's just jump straight into it with the male troll. And yeah, much like other races, they have split apart a lot of things. The troll specifically had some issues with like face paint being attached to tusks and face paint color being attached to like hair color and stuff like that. All of that has been kind of changed with this new update. So much like other races as well, no new faces, unfortunately. So for skin color, there are three new options which all represent a different clan of the trolls. Uh, I don't know troll lore too much. I know that this specifically is going to be Sand Fury, I believe, of Zolfarak. Uh, you've got this one here as well, which is kind of a dark color, which I think looks really cool. And then you've got this one here, which is kind of like a more purpley color. A lot of these colors actually match kind of perfectly with the Night Elves as well, which I think is kind of interesting. Uh, but I do like the Sand Fury. I think that's a color that we've not really seen before on Trolls. And uh, it's something that definitely people have wanted for a very long time. So going into hairstyles, there is actually a few new options and some really cool options as well. Uh, so yeah, this is the first one right here, which... Okay, yeah, maybe this one isn't so cool, but this is, yeah, you know, you've got sideburns there, you've got it kind of sticking out of the back. Uh, you've got this one, which is kind of like a palm tree. I believe some of these styles were actually added back in, like, Cataclysm or something like that, but they were just never used. So, yeah, this is another style here, which is essentially a palm tree. Yep, that's uh, that's pretty out there. Uh, next one is this one. Now, what you'll notice is, yeah, this style is not so great, but there is two colors. Now, these colors are pretty interesting, actually. Now, there is actually some new hair colors for the trolls as well, but... All the old colors even have a kind of secondary color. So as you go through, even the older styles have the secondary color, which is awesome. Like, look at some of these styles, like white with kind of a black on it there. You've got, you know, as I said, like, so cool, so cool. So you can't actually choose the two colors separately. They do kind of have a predetermined kind of thing, but I think that's really cool. And yeah, as I said, they've kind of grandfathered that in with some of the older hair colors as well, which I think is awesome. And a lot of these new hairstyles do use this kind of two color uh, style. So you've got this one here, which is another new hairstyle. Kind of a standard look, just kind of a long, uh, long hairstyle there, nothing too spectacular. Uh, and then finally, you've got this one, which I think is really cool, actually. I love these big, thick braids. Um, I think it looks awesome. And obviously, you've got that two hair color again being utilized for all of these old styles as well, which I think is uh, just fantastic, honestly. And as I said before, there is some new hair colors as well. Uh, you've got this one, which is kind of cool, kind of matches the Sand Fury Troll a little bit more. Uh, you've got this one, which is kind of, I don't know, kind of like darker version of the last one. I don't think it's that great. Uh, then you've got kind of a dark purple. I like the uh, the detail on it. I think it looks quite nice. Uh, and that's pretty much it. But yeah, three brand new hair colors for the male trolls there. And as I said, they do utilize that kind of two shade uh, thing. As for tusks, as I mentioned previously, uh, they weren't originally linked with face paint. So you had, I think, 11 styles before, but it was actually only around about five uh, unique styles. They've added a total of 10 now. So you've got this one here, which I think is okay. Uh, this one, I mean, a lot of these are kind of standard kind of troll looks, nothing too spectacular. There is some cool ones though. Uh, so you've got this one, which I think is really cool, a broken tusk. I think that's a great look. Um, yeah, I think it's just the same design as a previous one, but with the broken tusk on the side there, which I think is a good look. Uh, you've got this one here, which is kind of a massive kind of tusked look there, as you can see, kind of uh, hard, to be, hard to see in the kind of the character create screen. Maybe when you zoom it out a little bit more, you can see how mammoth they really are. Uh, and then finally, you've got this one, which is really cool, and a big one with these little piercings on the end, which you can't customize, unfortunately, but having the piercings on the tusk, I think, is a great look. A lot of new tusk options for the trolls there, and as I said, no longer linking to face paint as well, so it gives you a lot more uh, kind of freedom to customize. Uh, as for eye color, they have now added a eye color option with 15 to choose from. Uh, all of them very unique, very different, uh, including, I believe, the blind style, which is uh, pretty great. I'm pretty happy with the blind style. Obviously, you can do one eye blind or the other eye blind and stuff like that, which is cool. But nothing, you know, no big glowy eyes or anything like that. Uh, but, you know, having that choice to customize your eye style to even match it, you know, with your hairstyle is uh, is just great. Now, one thing I would have loved to have seen is troll beards. Unfortunately, they didn't add any beards. This is alpha, however, they could add it further down the line, but as of right now, there are no beards for the male, unfortunately. 
So moving into the next part, we have piercings. Now this is brand new. I think it's really cool. Uh, you've got kind of a nose ring there, which is kind of hard to see, but you can see it there, just a nose ring. Uh, then you've got a bone ring as well. Yeah, there is a bone going through its nose there. I think that looks great. Uh, a nice little addition there that you can have. And you actually have some matching earrings with that as well. So you can have obviously none. You can have a stud, as you can see. Kind of hard to see, but yeah, you've got a stud in there. Then you've got a ring on the bottom there, and then a ring on the top on the uh, on the left-hand side, I believe. Then you have this one, which is awesome. It has, like, teeth hanging down at the top, and then a tooth going through the bottom there on both sides. Uh, I like it. Yeah, I like the fact that it's hanging down. I think that actually looks really great on the troll. Um, big fan of that. Uh, and then the final option is just having that, but without the, uh, the top bit there, which is, a yeah, a pretty great look for the male trolls. So finally, going into face paint. Now, this is something I speculated about in the previous video I did, uh, whether or not you'd be able to customize your face and body paint separately. Thankfully, they've done it. Yeah, so there is a face paint style, which has all of the old styles that you had previously that you could use with different um, different tusks, and you can change the color of those as well uh, uniquely to anything you like, which I think is really great. Tons of color options as well, uh, which is awesome. But you've also got those brand new styles, which we did see at BlizzCon, um, which are great, honestly, like all of them are amazing looking. Um, they kind of use that kind of voodoo style, which I really like a lot. Uh, so you've got this one here, you've got that one back there, which I think is cool. Not, not massive, you know, this, you know, it's a bit more subtle, but this one here, it just really changes the look of your troll. Uh, you've got this one, which is just straight across the face big uh, kind of stripes there. For body paint there are three options. Now all of these do actually match some of the face paints as I said before. So like this one matches that one. Uh, this one here matches that one for example. But you can kind of mix and match and have like you know this for example with this one or whatever right which is kind of cool. I think the best part about it is that you can mix and match the colors as well. Yeah that's awesome. So you can have like you can kind of make it match your hair, for example, like you've got the two shade hair here, you can have like a blue body paint uh, along with like purple face paint, which I think is awesome. Uh, so yeah, there's some, some great styles for the body paint. Now my only issue with this is that it's a little bit low res. The actual file for these body paints is super HD, so I don't know why it's a little bit low res on the body here. Uh, but yeah, pretty cool styles nonetheless, and a couple of those to choose from for the body paint. And as I said, you can uniquely change the color, which I think is a great option. So that's pretty much it for the males. Let's take a look at the female troll now and look at some of their new options. So now into the female, unfortunately there are no new face options for the female. I mean the face, yeah, I mean there's six to choose from. You can kind of uh, kind of go with that, I guess. Uh, for skin color, they do have those three brand new options, uh, including the Sand Fury troll, which I think is really cool. And obviously those darker options and the kind of purpley one, which is, uh, which is awesome. It's great to see the same options coming to male and female. We've seen that across the board anyway, but you know, it's always great to see for sure. Uh, so one new option is the bald option. I did do a full video looking at all of the bald options for all of the races. So that's the female bald option. Uh, next one is this one. I Again, I don't think it's too unique. I don't know if this is one of the ones that was like not added to the game for such a long time. But this is one of the new ones. Uh, this is another one here using that two-tone style. Um, a lot of these aren't like super unique and super crazy, kind of like the male, but they do use this two-tone style, which is, again has been grandfathered in uh, with some of the older hair colors, which I think is great. Um, next one's this one, kind of looks like they've just got out of like the sea and their hair is soaking wet, which I think is cool. Uh, and then the final one is this one where it's shaved all on the side there and uh, a little braid going down the side. I think that's a good look for sure and uh, pretty unique and pretty different to, uh, to some of the other styles. And as I said, does use that new kind of two-tone hair color. We do have all of these same brand new hair colors for the females as well as the males which i think is good all of that choice of the two-tone as well uh, now for tusks now unfortunately if you are a female troll and you expected like big old tusks or anything like that unfortunately we do only have the same options that we had previously i believe um six to choose from nothing too spectacular um not 100 if these are new i mean they don't look new and even if they are they're not you know, I don't know. I kind of expected something a little bit different. Could be just a, you know, a case of alpha. Maybe that's something they're adding a little bit later. But as of right now, that is the options for the female tusks. And uh, much like the males as well, uh, they do have the eye color option. Now, obviously the eyes being a little bit more obvious on the female here. So all of those same options, including the blind option and the one eye blind and whatever. That's really cool to see them adding 15 different eye color options for the troll female. Uh, into accessories here, you do have a choice of piercings, uh, very similar to the male. You do have a little bone going through the nose there, and a little ring as well on the nose, a little septum piercing, which is really cool. As for earrings as well, you've got a ton of options, which is really good to see. Uh, you've got kind of these rings here on both sides. You've got the twin tooth, 
Uh, very similar to the male there as well, which I think is cool. You've got the singular, just kind of lobe tooth. Uh, you've got this one actually, which I think is different to the males. This one is just one of the uh, the little kind of tusks or teeth hanging down from just the lobe there. Uh, you've got stud and rings, which is what we saw on the male uh, lobe ring, and of course the stud option, for which we also saw on the male. So it's really cool to see them going across there. Uh, the new option for the female there is actually that kind of hanging uh, bone tooth thing. Yeah, it's a tusk. It's a little tusk. Sorry, my mistake. Yeah, there's a little tusk hanging down from the lobe there, which is something we didn't see on the males. So yeah, the females get a new little option there. Uh, for body and face paint, they didn't actually have any previously, so they do have all of the new options that the male has. Uh, kind of a female version of those designs, uh, but yeah, essentially the kind of same sort of thing. And you could do the, you know, the same sort of thing where you can kind of split up the different face and body colors and different designs and stuff like that, and mix and match and, and make it look kind of unique and different to how you want your troll to look. I think these designs are amazing. Like this one specifically is one of my favorites where it kind of shows the bones there and you can have it in white and just make it look so cool with that white hair color. Uh, female trolls are, they're looking good. They're looking pretty, pretty darn good in the Shadowlands pre-patch and uh, I'm pretty happy with all of these options, honestly. Three very unique options, which we did see at BlizzCon, uh, but yeah, seeing them actually in game and kind of previewed is is fantastic, honestly. So that's pretty much it, guys. That is all of the brand new options coming to the Dark Spear trolls in the Shadowlands pre-patch. Let me know down below what you think. If you're a troll main, are you happy with these options. I'm pretty happy with them. I don't play troll personally, but I think a lot of these options are good. I think splitting up a lot of the options is fantastic. That's something that we needed to have with the trolls because of, you know, being forced into certain face paints and colors and whatnot because of your hair color, because your tusk option is kind of annoying and having that freedom to kind of make the character the way you want it to look is obviously something fantastic. So as I said, guys, do let me know down below what you think of these options. And before I go, guys, I'd like to give a massive shout out to my amazing patrons, YouTube channel members, and Twitch subs. You guys are awesome. If you'd like to support the channel in any of those ways, links are down below. So leave a like on this video, guys, if you liked it, and subscribe if you haven't also got a part of the Discord channel with our 3,000 members. And as I said, I am streaming on twitch.tv slash MrGM, checking out the Shadowlands Alpha every single day. So if you want to see me streaming the Shadowlands Alpha, doing everything and anything on the Shadowlands Alpha, over on twitch.tv slash MrGM. And with that, guys, I'll see you next time.